The third interface along the top bar is chat. Available to those on artisan or specialist plans, chat is the ultimate tool for brainstorming, chatting with your characters and editing your work. In this video, we're going to go through the interface, telling you what each bit does. Let's start with the top bar. In addition to the buttons that we've gone through in previous videos, you will find the select AI button. From here, you can choose a prompt, either one of the system prompts or a custom prompt that you have made, and then go from there and select a model. Next to this is a visual indicator of the prompt and model selected. However, you can also click on this to quick change your model with the selected prompt, enter the prompt settings, or preview the final prompt. Previewing the final prompt means that you know exactly what is being sent to the AI in each message. Next to this, you can name your chat. This is great for organization, would 1000% recommend you doing this. This essentially gives you an organization tool. You can see here all of these uh, name chats, and it just means I know where I'm going if I'm looking for some information. If you have a populated chat, see here, you will notice that a little actions menu has appeared. Through this, we can pin or star the thread, and you can see that this has put it up here, and likewise, you can unpin it. You can split to the left or right of the interface, like so, and to the right side. You can also copy the conversation if you wanted to share it with someone else or you wanted to save it anywhere. And you can do this in Markdown, JSON, YAML or XML. I recommend Markdown for the pure aesthetics and ease of viewing. And finally, you can archive and delete the thread. If you're in any doubt, archive, you can restore archived content. You can't restore deleted. Makes sense. And as a bonus tip, um, if you just click on the chat button again in the top bar, it will go to a new thread. So it's a great time saver. In the main interface is your chat conversation. Here you can scroll up and down to read your chat message history. At the bottom is where you type out your question. By default, pressing enter makes a new line and does not send the message. Below this, you can select the AI context. You have the options of the full novel outline, the entire prose of a scene, not chapter. For example, you can see here, and the entire novel text. Be careful which model you choose here so that A, it has a sufficient context window to be able to read all your text and B, you don't want to get charged a lot if you've got a 100,000 word novel that you're getting the AI to read for every message. We recommend you use Claude Haiku, Gemini Flash or GPT-40 Mini as a balance of both of these factors. Through this button, you can also see and quickly open any codex entries mentioned in chat. For example, Watson and Holmes have both been mentioned here. And by clicking, you could see the codex entry. To start a chat, click on the chat button in the top bar or via the sidebar, click new thread and open it up. Select the AI model and prompt that you wish to use. By default, the first model in the system prompt is selected which is the general purpose prompt. If you wish to use a different model or prompt, you need to do this before you send your message. We advise this being your first step so that you don't forget. So let's go select AI. Um, we are then going to go general purpose, general purpose system and select Claude Haiku. You can then start chatting with your novel by typing in the text box at the bottom of the page. The AI will respond to your messages in the chat thread. We have selected the context of chapter one in our story, and we are going to ask it now. If you're unhappy with the AI's response, you can click on retry. This will then generate a new message. Currently, you can't recover old messages, so we advise you save as a snippet before you click retry. If you want to save a response for later use, like I said, you can go to save a snippet. 
this automatically generates the content in a snippet in your sidebar. If you want to save a message to a separate interface outside of Novel Crafter, you can also click copy and it will copy to your clipboard. Each message will also give you an output word count. And if you hover over the little information icon, you can see the model that generated that message. This is great for when you switch models mid chat. And finally, you can extract data from the chat message. This incredibly powerful tool allows you to extract the data from an individual chat thread straight into your codex entries, your chapter or scene summaries so that you can add them to your outline or scene beats formatted so that you can paste them into the scene that you're working on. For example, imagine that these were all beats. If we extracted them, you could then copy these, close, go into the right interface. Let's say I'm just going to go into a, a miscellaneous chapter and then by pasting them in, they all appear as scene beats. Extract is tolerant to different formats. However, you may need to ask the AI to reformat some answers to get it working perfectly. A good rule of thumb is to ask for lists or sections with headings. Novel Crafter comes with two built-in chat prompts. However, you can customize the program and add in as many as you want. Our two system prompts are, firstly, the general purpose. This prompt is an all-purpose prompt working in the background of your chats. It instructs AI models to help you with your writing, answering your questions, and for clarification if it doesn't understand you. Its design isn't to write prose, so you may need to tweak it if you're wanting to write anything within chat. The second system prompt is scene beats from summary. This prompt takes a chapter or scene summary that you have and writes beats for instructing the AI to write prose. You can then put these beats into the right interface for writing your novel, as we saw above. For information on how to clone system prompts and how to write your own, see our separate videos on the subject.